Oh my destination RV. Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got an absolute treat for you. This is a brand new model. This is the 2024 Cedar Creek Cottage 40 CBK. They did their own kind of rendition of that 42 view, the 44 view, you know, when those come out. And I think they absolutely crush it. So you get the style and the quality of a cottage mixed in with one of the industry's best floor plans. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think as you go through this video. It really helps YouTube push out, you know, my channel awareness. Hit that like and subscribe button. But all of these specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all that good stuff you can find down in the description along with a link for the pricing. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Again, it's the 2024 Cedar Creek Cottage 40 CBK. And um, man, I mean, when you walk in, the Cedar Creeks always do such a good job on decor. I just think this is such a beautiful floor plan from the fact that you have the beams going across the top for the accents, you know, to the, to the lighting, the slide height being 610. It's incredible. It opens it up. If you're looking for something that is home away from home, that can also sleep all the grandkids, sit all the grandkids. You know, this is going to be probably at the top of your list, you know, if it's something uh, that you, you know, uh, you know, are looking for. If you got a little camp spot, it's also got one of the best bathrooms you will see in a destination RV as well, uh, which, you know, that never hurts anything. Hidden pantry over here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of break this down, maybe do it like slide by slide, you know, something like that. Now, I guess I'll start right here. One thing I do like about this floor plan that really every rendition or edition of it is doing are big windows for big views. So I like seeing that. Not only are they tinted, but they open up for a nice breeze. You've got plenty of seating here for breakfast and hopefully you're overlooking, you know, a lake, a mountainside, you know, somewhere beautiful where you can really enjoy, you know, that quiet time or that family time. You also have all the plugins that you need. Two chairs over here with an ottoman with storage here. You also have a table that's got an extension, but it also has a place where you can put in, you know, more stuff, more, uh, <laughs> more stuff. There you go. But, um, you know, your forks, your spoons, your sporks, whatever. Uh, as far as the shades are concerned, you got the day and night shade. So half Dracula, block out a little bit of the sun. Full Dracula, block out all the sun, keep some nosy eyes out. Keep it down. You also got some pretty fancy pants, little lighting there with that old chicken wire look going across. And then, um, like I was saying, this Murphy pantry, you got hidden storage behind here. So you got your Insignia TV, well-known name brand. You also got a little place to maybe put, you know, a couple little trinkets here and there. My wife would have crystals up there, you know, in a heartbeat. And then you have a fireplace to keep it nice and roasty and a toasty. That'll heat up about 500 square feet of RV. So it'll really heat up, you know, this area. Absolutely no problem. But you're also going to notice you get a good viewing angle from the sofa to the TV, which some RVs, you know, that is lacking. There's a little latch that's right under here that you simply click over and then you open it up and man, you got plenty of spaces to put, you know, blankets, maybe a hoodie or jacket. You also got pull out drawers, but um, man, magazines, books, the works, board games. There's a lot of stuff that you could do with that. And I like the fact that it's tucked away so that way, you know, all your stuff just isn't kind of just out and in the open. Now, as I flip it around here, this island is pretty darn cool. They reworked this in 2023, uh, but I love it. it. Got a little skinnier down at the bottom. They added the accent siding, but they also added this flip up here, which is nice because if you're entertaining, you know, if you have the guests over and maybe you want to put out, uh, there's some legs by the way that hold that up. Uh, you know, you can put out some different, you know, food options or whatnot, or sit down, get some work done, you know, do your thing. I like the fact that it does flip up. It's more storage. It's kind of hidden, you know, sort of like that. It's just more thoughtful, you know, more, uh, more greatness. <laughs> so right here, you got your solid surface countertops that goes throughout the entire D of the camper, babe, if you're watching, I love you. I know a lot of people are always asking about dishwashers guys. You got a dishwasher. Everyone seems to hate doing dishes. I know that I sure do. Now you don't have to do them, but if you want to do them, you got a farm style stainless steel sink with the old high-rise faucet, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. hitting those old dish aroonies from all angles. And then underneath, clean cut storage. You also get the copper tab held on by the magnets and they're gonna be also on the soft close. You don't have to worry about the clanging and banging. Directly across from your island, 
you're going to start some incredible storage. You know, you need more stuff, more places for it. You know, maybe some food, some snacks. You have pull-out drawers and open space right here. But, I mean, doesn't get much better than that. That is some pretty good space. I got pretty average arms, and it goes probably to about three-quarters up my bicep. But, man, even these are on soft clothes. You notice those drawers are on soft clothes. Soft clothes are just everywhere. I also like how they broke up kind of some of the decor with the... Uh, the black top right here, the black sty styled, uh, geez, a peach, why am I blanking out? Black solid surface countertops. You also get a place where you can put some towels. So if you need to be cleaning up, you know, you rip it off, you're wiping, you're good to go. Three stove top burner to whip up all the fixings. You want to cook a chicken? You got a place to cook a chicken. Bada bing, bada boom. You need a garbage can? You got a place for a garbage can. So right there, I just like it. I think it's functional. You also have a pretty good looking, kind of fits in with the rest of the decor, uh, with the microwave. And then you have storage, you know, all up and around. And I enjoy how this one is going to be on that strut system. So you notice, hands-free. So you don't have to worry about, you know, holding it up while you're trying to get stuff in and out. Uh, I believe it's the industry's largest 12-volt refrigerator, too, the Furion. So if you're someone that's coming down, you know, for a weeks-long trip, you have the ability to store, you know, a week's worth of of groceries so that's not going to be an issue it's not going to hinder you know anything for you you also have two pull out freezer drawers one of which i believe yeah has an ice maker and the bottom one is just uh you know kind of like that just a little bit bigger more storage here up top and then before we get to that loft i just want to spin around and go to this actually we're going to do that loft first we're going to head this way um, I love this sofa. So in the 42 view, when that came out, it ripped everything by storm. It had a little bit of a bigger couch, no pantry space really, but I like how they shortened it up just a hair. Not only can you sleep a couple folks out here, but it just allows you to have, you know, bigger features, more storage, and you still get all the adequate uh, seating spaces that you need. You got outlets, big old window again with the old Dracula shade. But this is where you're looking at right there in a prime chilling spot. If you're over in the corner, which is always, you know, my favorite, you know, you kick your leg up, you're laying down, hanging out. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. I mean, that is just a pretty chill view to watch a movie at, at the campground. I mean, that, <laughs> that is awesome. You also got the sliding door and you can have uh, your blinds, which don't come installed because uh, you don't want to obviously break them during travel or anything like that. But you can block that out. I mean, you could darken this thing up completely you got the accent lighting to kind of break it up if you want to get a midnight snack or movie mode which is my favorite mode max air fan here as well along with a bluetooth speaker uh, but the fan keeping things circulating you're also going to get a couple acs in this unit um, so 215k acs which is always nice you know keep this thing nice and chilly this is a large camper so you'll be you'll be running those out pretty good staircase coming right in there you got a railing so you got the grandkids coming with you, nice and safe to get them up here. But emergency exit window, just in case. But I mean, look at that. Two big old, probably about full-size beds or so, a little bit bigger than twins, that's for sure. And then you got a little center area where you can put in, you know, all their stuff, along with another fan, again, to help circulate uh, that air. And then underneath this is one of the most incredible bathrooms, you know, in the industry. But I just want to show that, show that view off right there. How freaking cool is that? Sitting up here on your perch, having a good old time. This bathroom, though, man, I absolutely love it. Not only do you get a washer and dryer over there in that closet, which may or may not be optional, so make sure to check on that. Uh, I'm not overly familiar on if that is standard or not, but, I mean, home away from home, again, you are doing you know, real laundry with a real washer and dryer. You also get a shower that is big enough for a bigger dude like myself to get in and out, no problem. You even got maybe room for two if you want to get a little crazy. But, you know, I'm six foot, 300 pounds. And you can see I got no problem fitting inside of this. You got the head heights encroaching probably about 6'1 or so. And then you have one of the fancier shower heads in the game. Look at that. I mean, that would just feel good. You'd be like laying here getting a back scratch. All right dual vanities and i also like how they're angled so you got kind of that like splash proof area i also like how it is darker again kind of breaking it up six pull out drawers top two are going to be looking like a this the bottom two bottom four are going to be looking just like a that 
You also got a little mirror to check out bowling guns, baby. I skipped bowling to come up here, so you know it's a big day for me. You also got a little fan here that you can turn on to help, uh, you know, circulate some of the old uh, steam or stink from whatever you're doing. The toilet here is going to be the porcelain throne. I don't even need to sit on that. You can tell that there is uh, plenty of room, you know, to do your business. You also got a couple places where you can put, you know, some towels. But now let's head on over to that other loft and then show you the bedroom. And then I'll go outside and uh, you know, show you where the dump valves are and things of that nature. But if you guys have made it this far, again, if you don't mind, drop a comment, say hello, ask a question, do whatever you want to do there. And then also subscribe uh, for future RV content. I'm going to be putting out you know, one to two videos a day for the foreseeable future. I'm knocking out 60 RVs this week alone. Obviously, I'm not posting them all. This is going to be your secondary loft, another Max Air Fan. And then plenty of storage in the back with the outlets. That's going to be the screen for the sliding door. But I mean, all that sleeping space, you know, is pretty darn fantastic. Or if you don't want to bring the kids, you know, you got um, some great storage there. Spiral staircase as well. It's all going to be one piece. This is going to be your control panel. So you got your thermostat, slide room controls, water ceiling, um, or water pump. I'm sorry. You also got your tank heater, which is going to be a 12 volt pad that goes on to the bottom of your unit and it allows you to camp earlier in the spring or later in the fall uh, because you have extra electric heat keeping everything you know from freezing up. So there's where you can check your tank fills. Fan control. And then you're into the bedroom, which is nice and spacious down inside that drop frame, which allows you a little bit more head height than the bathroom did. But, you know, look at that. So you're probably looking at about 6'6 six, six in here, you know, which is great for you taller folks. You also get some beautiful open windows, again, hopefully for a nice view of something. You also have the cadet heater. Again, that is something that I'm also not sure whether it is optional or not, so make sure to check that out. Emergency exit, pull, push, and plop. You also got a little bit of hidden storage, you know, maybe for a gun or some valuables, something like that that you, you know, just in case uh, you don't want people seeing. You also have foam, soft clothes, a little bit of countertop space over here, which is pretty darn neat. And then I should have turned on the light there for the bed. Let's see here. It's always hard to get moving around with this camera. But there's one. And then I'll do the other one here in a second. But you got, ah, let's just go, dude. Let's just do it now. Let's just do it now. Ah, boom. Parkour. Huh. All right. So now you got a messy bed. The lady's going to kill me. But you got windows on both sides that open up. Outlets, so if you want to put in, you know, CPAP machine or anything like that, you got areas where you can do it. And then you're also going to get a really nice closet here as well for some hanging items. You also see you got yourself a vacuum. And then bada bing bada boom. You also got a little uh, little antenna doodad right there, which I believe should be for like 4G LTE. And then of course you got uh, a TV in here as well, the insignia. But all right, guys, let me know what you think. Now I'm going to head around the outside. Again, it's the 2000. 24 Cedar Creek Cottage 40 CBK. Now I'm going to go around the outside just to kind of show you where everything is. Probably wrap this thing up in about two more minutes. But in case you missed it the uh, first time around, all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description of this video along with a link for that pricing. Now this one does have stabilizing jacks. I do know that those are optional, but you're either gonna put them up on jacks or you're gonna drop it down and kind of block them up. That's usually how people do it. This one also has the slide topper on there as well, which is going to be uh, optional. So nice feature to get if you guys would like. You also got a little bit of an awning here. The tinted windows, 25th anniversary, baby. Congrats on making it the big 25. Fury on TV where you can plug in a TV if you want an outdoor TV along with you know, obviously a power source for that. Not too much to see here out back other than the fact that when you want to plug in your camper that's going to be the plug in. But get on top of your roof, you know, check your seals, check your slides, probably do that you know, a time or two a year for sure. You got your low point drains over here when you go to winterize it. Access to your water heater through here. And this is going to be kind of like your little docking station. So you got your black tank sewer outlet connection. Then you got your black tank flush, which is a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. Fresh water, city water. And uh, yeah, we're chugging along. 
pretty darn good day, man. I can't wait for spring. I got a treat yesterday, another one today, and then tomorrow is supposed to be rainy and snowy and sleety. Up in the front, if you want to hook up a grill, you got an LP Quick Connect, two oversized propanes, and you got an area where you, where you can put, you know, two batteries. But I think that about wraps it up, guys. Again, this is the 2024 Cedar Creek Cottage, 40 CBK. My name is Hunter. Have a great day. See ya. Meow, 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 me